I am going to tell you the truth about Supermicro. Hey guys, Bruce from Server Factory here, and we have a special video today. If you're not familiar, Supermicro is an American IT company that specializes in server hardware and data center solutions. Founded in 1993 in Silicon Valley, they have since become a multi-billion dollar company, ranked 18th fastest growing company by Fortune magazine in 2016. Now you may have heard some news over the past year about allegations that Supermicro servers were compromised by tiny chips placed on the motherboards in China. These chips allegedly acted as hardware backdoors, giving attackers full access to the system without the owner knowing. Since Apple's and Amazon's hardware is also made in China, they were also accused in the same report. However, all companies named in the article denied these claims, and the article has been met with a lot of skepticism. Despite this, Supermicro actually moved all their production out of China shortly after the story broke. We don't exactly know why this is, but we can guess that they want their important defense customers to have full confidence in them. A lot of you are probably thinking, what sets Supermicro apart from other very common server providers like HPE and Dell? Well, generally, a Supermicro server would be noticeably cheaper to buy than a Dell or HPE server with the same specs. In some cases, even half the cost. And for that, you get an easy to understand modular design, which means that swapping out or adding extra parts is easy and simple. They may not have the most exciting public image and futuristic design, but they are known for being stable and reliable. Supermicro have also been committed to the idea of green computing. Their resource saving architecture continues to lead the market with green IT innovations that reduces the impact on the environment while also saving on TCO. They do this by optimizing data center power, cooling, shared resources and refresh cycles. With the rising need for more and more computing power, it is becoming clear that the environmental impact of data centers needs to be a top priority. We have to keep in mind that the servers in these data centers are working 24 seven, handling the world's digital traffic, and all those servers need to be cooled. Cooling is one of the biggest challenges that data center operators are faced with today, and a lot of innovation will be needed to make it sustainable. Some data centers have already come up with some pretty creative solutions. For example, Data centers in Iceland can simply get away with letting in subarctic air from outside to cool their servers, making them greener while also lowering running costs. So to bring it back, what is the truth about Supermicro? Well, they are a billion dollar IT company that's actually dedicated to making the server industry much more eco-friendly and in turn lowering costs for their customers. Now there is more to Supermicro than just this and we will be doing more in-depth videos about them in the future. So if you don't want to miss out on that, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and maybe even follow us on Twitter. Thank you for watching and see you next week.